Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me in another video. So as you can tell, based on the title, I have a very special unboxing from Fashion File. It is an Hermes bag. On my wish list this year, I wanted to pick up an Hermes bag. This came up on Fashion File and it wasn't quite the one that was on my wish list. When this came up, I was just like, you know what? It kind of meets a lot of the criteria of a lot of other handbags I have been looking at. And a part of me, before I do the unboxing, there is like a part of me that is like not 100% sure. If I hate to buy something with the possibility that I return it, I do not do that on my channel. I do not like buy and return things. No shade if like people do do that. Like I understand like there are influencers that do that. This is a genuine like bag I wanna use that I obviously am buying with my own money. The reason why I'm saying this is because I have been really thinking about potentially getting the Phoebe Philo drive bag. If this bag isn't what I want it to be, if this isn't that, I know there is a way for me to get my customs back. It just seems like it's like a lot of work and like really annoying, but obviously bag this price point. I'm gonna fight for my customs, but I really don't want it to be that. I really want to love it, but I know that there's a percentage of me where I may not love it. It may not work. Obviously with Hermes bags, we can't always try everything on in store. They would just laugh at me if I went into Hermes and I was like, hey, do you have this like exact style? Like they would just be like, no. And you'll see why they won't have this exact style. This could work or this could be a total fail. If this doesn't work out, I return this bag and I get the Phoebe Philo drive bag. I've also been thinking about the Kit Cabas more recently, but I feel my heart has been kind of set on the drive bag, but I purchased this before the Phoebe Philo drop, and now I'm kind of like, I would really love to have that bag in my collection, but anyways, I'm just kind of rambling. It's kind of my dilemma, but I really hope to love this bag. I don't want to have to go through returning something, so I hope this works out, but you know, there very much is the possibility that it doesn't work out. Okay, so, okay, there we go. So here's the... Fashion file box. Okay, it's a big box. So here's the lovely paper used as the new new. I just hope it's like what I hope it is. I don't know. You'll see why I purchased it, why it makes sense, but it could also be like, I don't know. Here's the fashion file bag. I hope it works out, guys. I really hope it works out. Okay. All right. Here it is. All right. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Okay. You, know, you just like touch it and you're like, whoa, can you guess what bag this is? I don't think you'll guess it. I'm going to be super excited if you do. Oh my gosh. Here it is. So this is the OG shoulder Birkin. It's a little bit scrunched in. This hardware is just so thick and chunky here. Oh my gosh. Wow, guys. Okay. I like was so in love with this color. Now this was the color I was initially thinking I wanted to get with a Birkin 30 or a Kelly 28, but obviously this is the OG shoulder Birkin style. Oh my gosh, this is really a big bag. This is the OG rain bag. Okay, that is really cool. So there's that, which is pretty cool. A really big open hole. This is definitely that East West style of bag. I can crook of the arm it. I can shoulder bag it. Yeah, I don't know. This is a big bag, guys. Like, this is really big. 42 centimeters, just for reference. So just for reference, this is the 25, and this is the 42. Oh my gosh, that is massive. What do you guys honestly think? This bag is very, very big. And I wanted just to wear a coat that I'd most likely wear a bag like this. I wanted to try this on in person because I knew that the Roe Margot, the East West version, the dimensions are very similar and comparable. And I was just like, you know what? I could just try this and see how I feel. But you know what? I'm actually really liking this bag. There's something about this like beautiful deep red color. I just, I don't know, I really love. I'm just gonna take off this scarf because it's just doing a little bit too much right now. I think this could be really cool. But again, I have to figure out how I wanna style this. This is a really big bag, especially on me, which is really petite. I'm a really petite person, but I think, you know what? It can look cool, like, like you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm in my mind. Like, I think there's a lot of potential for this to look really cool and really chic. Definitely have to play with styling this. I think this bag needs to be, like, stored properly. I don't know. I wonder if I could, like, spot it, but I kind of really love this bag the more I see it. And I'm gonna get a lot of people that are like, don't buy that bag. It's definitely a weird bag for sure, but I figured if I'm gonna get this bag and I found it in, like, the color I really wanted to work it in, was it the OG size I was looking for or material? No, it was not. I think it's a cool piece of fashion history, and the more I look at it, the more I 
really like it. I have been looking at the Row Margot East West. I've also been looking at the Row Idaho. I also talked about that bag and bags for 2024, but this was kind of a good price. Like, kind of. You know what I mean. Let me know what you think. Should I keep this bag or should I get the Phoebe Philo Drive bag? I don't know. I kind of want to keep this. Like, I really do want to keep this bag. I don't want to return it. Would love to know what are your thoughts on this handbag. Definitely, like, a very weird bag. I've been talking about wanting a Birkin or Kelly in this color anyways. And I've been talking about wanting an East West bag. I just figured the price was kind of now or never sort of thing. And while I know that the East West style, it is like a trend in silhouette in like two years, we're gonna be all about North South, I'm sure. I do feel like it is an iconic Jean-Paul Gaultier creation from an iconic era at Hermes. So I know that this bag is definitely going to have polar opposite opinions, but I'm really super excited to wear this bag. Kind of just like perfectly fits my 13 inch laptop. You could wear this actually as a work bag. I was watching Suits and I forget the character's name, but I'll insert a picture, but one of the characters, she was wearing this bag and she looked very boss lady. I kind of just want to use this as a big throw around bag slash try the East West style, but yeah, I'm actually really excited to try this. And 100% totally different from anything in my collection, not your typical silhouette, but sometimes you kind of just have to get outside of your comfort zone and try things that are a little bit different. This is kind of in that realm of getting outside of my comfort zone, but still very much my aesthetic. I'm actually really excited to wear this. This has kind of been the color I feel has been missing in my collection, a silhouette I've been so curious to try. So many boxes are checked and it fits really good as a shoulder bag on this coat, a laser jacket kind of coat. I just feel like I have a lot of like the more classic sort of style shapes and I still feel like this is a very iconic bag, but it's not, it's kind of weird. So anyways, that is my new crazy handbag that I bought from Fashion File. And I have seen on places like Fashion File, all the other kind of resellers, they have had these worthwhile if you are interested in potentially getting one of these styles. What kind of sealed the deal for me was the fact that this was cheaper than the Row Margot and the Phoebe Philo bag I was looking at. I'm not gonna lie, I still love and want those bags, but I don't have the budget for everything. Sometimes when these things come up on the pre-love market, you kind of just have to say, okay, let's just like make it happen. So yes, that is my new bag. Thank you so much for joining me in another one, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.